All right, so today I am adding a 35 amp Bluetooth co compatible BMS to this bank of four 5200 milliamp hour LiPo batteries, which I use in my underwater scooter, which I modified. This was a 12 volt underwater scooter, which I turned into a 15 slash 16 volt. That's, these are 4S lipo pouch cells and the only downside is I can't see the voltage I can't see the percentage unless I take this whole thing apart and it's kind of a pain in the butt when it's all wet and I don't want to get everything wet so I have this what I, and the nice thing is I, I let a lot of people use it and they have fun and play with it this if anything ever happens I can disable it with my phone and all kinds of stuff um, it will not work if they're way underwater but if they're on the if they're just cruising on the surface that so this should work still um, yeah so I'm just in the process of paralleling all of the balance leads then from there it will go into here the balance leads will go in here and then the batteries will flow through this and yeah everything should work well and uh, we'll see it at the end all right so there's the inside what I've done so far I just have these two wires jammed in here and just the charge for now because I actually realize I don't have a connector made up for this. So we got the BMS in there under the yellow tape, the heat, high heat rated tape. Got all of our BMS connections hooked up. This is a 20 amp battery or a 20.8 20 point, 20 amp battery. Uh, Bluetooth works really good and I just used these tiny, these are individual pins that I just I was able to, to put each pin into uh, this uh, five pin connector. That's how I connected the BMS wires of all these batteries put together. So now all the cells are in parallel. And we're going to check in the pool. We're going to put uh, a load on it. It's not going to be moving. It's, I'm just going to jam it to the side of the pool. That'll show uh, pretty much maximum. Uh, current that these batteries in this BMS will see and it, it won't show like cruising current so we won't see what kind of uh, um, I guess lifespan we're gonna get while using this I'm thinking that I get about an hour and a half approximately maybe an hour and 15 minutes now that I see um, it uses 4 amps or 4.4 amps just idling outside of the water so in the water I'm sure it's gonna take at least double maybe more than that maybe three times and so I used to think that this would last because the battery that was in here before was just a sealed lead acid 12 amp hour that when you drain it this fast it would literally give you like 15 minutes of runtime at best so I think this will give me at least an hour and 15 minutes of runtime so we'll have to see we're gonna give it a test and uh, here we go how's it going guys going off grid and we got the underwater scooter, the fully modified one. I stuck an underwater switch on it here. It's just crudely attached because I just want to get this working uh, for the weekend. You can see 4.4 amps. Running with uh, no load, we have 20.8 amp hours worth of batteries at 4S, uh, 3.7 volts per cell, so that's, uh, I don't know, it, it's 16.8 volts full charge at 4.2 volts a cell. We are sitting at 75%. We're going to see what kind of uh, load this thing takes when it's in the water. Let's see if I can film this somehow without getting my camera all wet. Ah, that would not be fun if I ended up putting it in the water. Anyways, let's see here. Okay, fully in the water. Oh, here we go. Come on, focus. 21.5 amp hours. So this thing, on full go, can only go for about an hour full charge. And look, there's the safety right here. Cut all power to it. Now, my question is, Will I be able to do this when it's submerged underwater? Let's try it again. Okay. 
it. So it's on. Now I'm going to push it completely underwater. Oh boy. I can't really hold it. Hold on a second here. Okay, so it is underwater completely. Nope. Disconnected. Okay. Well, that's good to know. The Bluetooth, the second it goes completely underwater, does disconnect. It's connectable again. Oh, no, that's from... Hold on here. What's going on here? There we go. Alright, so we got some good uh, information from this test. We know, and that is, this thing is not moving. So this will definitely take less power when someone's skimming along the water. So I'm guessing probably, I don't know, 15 amps. It'll be pulling when someone's actually moving across the water instead of just pushing into a wall. Um, maybe even less, it could be less. Uh, I'm not sure. I gotta get somebody to keep the nose above the water uh, while I test that. And then I can look at my phone as they go around the pool, then I'll know what it actually pulls. But at least now, look, we just used 1% doing that. Which is hilarious. It's nice because I get a temperature, uh, accurate temperature of the batteries inside of this uh, as well. So I can see if the, my batteries are overheating, which they won't. They can produce way more power than 20 amps. And I can see my percentage, I can check it nonstop. And I have it so it, it cuts, if any cell hits three volts, it'll cut it off, which you can see right here. I go into, let's see, uh, parameter view. I've got water on my screen here. Let's see. Come on, here we go. There we go. Let's see, this was the focus. Okay, over voltage. Uh, da da. There it goes. Under voltage, three volts a cell. Under voltage relief, three point one volts. Uh, da da da. Where it is? I'm looking for. Uh. going through okay so charge over current 45 amps that's way too high I gotta change that uh, discharge over current for 45 amps the batteries can do that no problem there we go my capacity 19 amp hours is the usable nominal capacity is 20.8 amp hours so I have it so it, it cuts off a little early and yeah oh yeah you can set um, your own percentage it's pretty it's pretty neat uh, this the uh, BMS it was fairly cheap 40 bucks for this one 